in Psalms chapter 32, verse number eight, the word of the Lord states, the Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. And I will advise you and watch over you. As we begin this day, we have confidence in knowing as we walk with the Lord in all holiness, he will instruct, he will teach, and he will guide. So as we go forth on today, let us simply trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding. And in all our ways, acknowledge our Lord, and he shall direct our paths. May we pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we come now thanking you for this a new day that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for your tender mercies as we arose this morning. And as we prepare to come towards your throne, forgive us of our sins. And give us a heart to seek your righteousness and your holiness each and every day. As we begin, we begin this day with a heart of thanksgiving. Lord, you've done exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think. And for that, we say thank you. You have loved us in spite of ourselves. And for that, we say thank you. And our response to all that you have done for us and all that you have been to us is to give you worship. So right now we ask you to prepare our hearts and minds to go forth on this day in a spirit of excellence and in a spirit of love, seeking to be the servants that you would have us to be. Lord, we ask you to renew our hearts and to renew our minds and give us a focus to simply love on one another as we strive to do the best we can. We ask you, Lord, to bless our children on this day. We ask you to be a hedge of protection around their hearts and around their minds as they go forth on today. We ask you to bless those who are sick. We ask you to bless those who are troubled in their minds. We ask you to bless those that are in the hospital, Lord. And we ask you to send your healing presence upon all who are in need of it. And right now, Lord, we ask you to give us a heart to be focused as we go forth into this new day, remembering all that you have done and all that you have taught us so that we can be an example that brings an influence on society. So people may see our good works and come running asking, what must I do to be saved? So Lord, we ask you to be with us. We ask you to guide us and give us focus as we go boldly into this new day. Be with us now, strengthen us now, Empower us now, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever we pray. Amen. And I want you to remember, it is God who instructs, it is God who teaches, and it is God who guides. Remember, the Lord will give us the best, best pathway for our lives. God bless you. Go forth. Make today the best day that you've ever had knowing that tomorrow is going to be even better than today. God bless you.